Reasons for having the tire pressure light still on after filling tires. To ensure safe, comfortable and efficient driving, you need to get the right amount of air pressure in your tires. Ensuring your vehicle tire has the necessary pressure will help save money because you won't have to get the tires to replace frequently. If you check the sidewall of your tire just the manufacturer's text, you will notice a number there. That number tells you the cold pressure maximum you need for your tire to carry the maximum load. So before continue don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this. The maximum pressure for every tire is always between 30 psi and 32 psi. The appropriate time to fill your car is when they are cold, whether early in the morning or after they sitting in a shade somewhere for hours. There is always a recommended pressure for your car from the manufacturer. It is either in the manual or by the door jam on a sticker. If you stick to the instruction and your tires are always inflated to the recommended pressure, then your tires get to be at its best performance. Why is my tire pressure light still on? If the tire pressure monitor light TPMS comes on, this is an indication that one or even more of the vehicle's tires is below the recommended inflation pressure by the manufacturer. This is why it is necessary to always check the pressure before you have driven the car. However, the light can also come on due to a bad or damaged sensor. Although a TPMS is important and can serve as a warning against a problem, there is nothing like checking your tires physically with a tire pressure gauge. If your car has a TPMS, this means that every single tire has a wireless sensor embedded in it. This sensor will then transmit data to the computer. If any of the sensors show a pressure value that is lower or higher than recommended, the computer will turn on the tire pressure light. If you are driving and the light comes on, it could mean so many things, it is left to you to discover the information it might be trying to pass across. Conditions of Tire Pressure Monitor Light When the light comes on and stays that way, this means that the air pressure is low on a tire or more. Make sure you check it with a gauge as soon as you can because if you ignore and keep driving, then your car might get damaged with a flat tire. If the tire light comes on and goes off immediately, then that is a warning that at least one of your tires is close to its recommended maximum or minimum inflation. The sensor in the tires is getting triggered due to the contraction which might be because of cold or heat. Another condition is if the light flashes for a minute and then finally comes on. This might be that your car's TPMS has malfunctioned and you should get it checked out. You will have to be checking the tires manually without counting in the light to be of any help. Low tire pressure light but tires are fine. If you have ever experienced your car's low pressure light turn on while the tires are fine, then you need to know why that happens and how to fix it. There are so many reasons that might cause this and they are. 1. The first thing is that your tire pressure management system is not functioning properly. If every time you get into the car, the light comes on but you are very sure your tires are okay, then, the TPMS needs to be repaired. That means, it is not functioning as it should. 2. When the weather is cold, the tire pressure decreases even if it is inflated. The reason for this is because the heat expands while matter compresses in cold. This will make the tire pressure light come on even if the tires are perfectly fine. It will disappear after the tires get warmed up. But to be on the safer side, you should check your tire with a gauge. 3. If you recently change your tires, the electronic box could have gotten damaged in the process. So, before going for a tire replacement, make sure you check the light. Why is my tire pressure light on after getting new tires? Fixing the issue. Now that you know the things that could be causing your light to turn on while the tires are alright, you can also fix it by doing the following. Reset. There is a compartment inside the glove box that is in front of the passenger's seat. If you cannot find it, then find the set button. If you are having any problem detecting this, check the manual of your car. Once you have located this button, press it for 3 seconds. The tire light will blink three times on the dashboard indicating that the reset was successful. Then, turn your engine off and restart after five seconds. This should resolve the problem you are having. 
However, it is important to know that this process of resetting the tire light might vary with the model of the vehicle you are using. So, you should check your car's manual before you try to reset. If the problem persists, then you have no choice but to take your car to the mechanic for a better diagnosis. This video has talked about some of the problems you might encounter with your tire pressure and how to solve them. It is very necessary that you know how to maintain your car, as a car owner. Check it frequently any problem that may cause damage. Don't forget to like, share this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos like this.